Hey everybody, Bitcoin just hit its all-time high. It touched $69,000, matching the all-time high from the last bull run. Now, that's incredible for a lot of reasons. First of all, we're still not at the halving, which is nuts. And this is the first time that Bitcoin has touched its all-time high pre-halving in ever that's incredible. And for that brief moment in time, everyone who had ever bought Bitcoin was in profit. That, however, was very brief. As you probably have seen, Bitcoin has now fallen down to about $62,000. Quite a pullback from the $69,000 at the peak. That was interesting. And I know a lot of people are probably wondering... What's next? Everyone was exciting, excited, expecting Bitcoin to just keep running, maybe blow through the all-time high, but that hasn't been the case. We've gotten a bit of a rebound from a really firm pullback all the way to, at one point, just below $60,000. So really quite the firm pullback. Uh, there's a few reasons for that. And I'll break them down in this video, but I also want to break down what's next for Bitcoin, what's next for this channel, and what's next for the rest of this market. So if you like this kind of content, drop a like, drop a subscribe, uh, drop a comment. It means the world to me, and I'm Aussie, and let's get into it. So let's think about why did Bitcoin pull back so hard? There's actually a couple different reasons. One of them, Facebook, Meta, and everything shut down, which threw people into a panic. Massive server outages on a lot of these social media apps caused a little bit of a distress signal across the market. But what also happened was we had two different things happen that were pretty major. There was a major miner who had been active back in 2010, decided that at this all-time high, they were going to sell a considerable amount of Bitcoin all today, right around the all-time high. They held quite a bit of Bitcoin, and so that had a negative impact on the price. The other thing that happened that was pretty significant is BlackRock had its largest day of outflows in the ETF's history. So there was a lot of selling from the BlackRock ETF. Some people are raising that as a major red flag, considering BlackRock had a major inflow not that long ago. But in my opinion, it's normal. My dad is a very TradFi investor, but I've gotten him a little bit into Bitcoin. And when we were talking about being up 22% in a week, and even more than that over the last 60 days, for most TradFi investors, that's massive gains. And when we were talking about hitting an all-time high again, it made sense that a lot of them wanted to take profits. And so we saw that today, and that caused a massive outflow. That being said, in my opinion, this is super healthy for Bitcoin. If you look at the daily chart on Bitcoin, I'll probably add it on screen, Bitcoin really since January has been up and to the right with a little bit of consolidation, but not much of a pullback. If you look at January, we entered around the low uh, high thirties and traded up into the right consolidating in the low forties and then consolidating in the low fifties. But other than that, it's not been a lot of red days. And so generally pre having, we see Bitcoin drop, 20 to 30%. 20% was the 2020 bull run, and then 30% was the 2017 bull run. Gives you an idea. We only had a correction of about 10% so far. We could very easily pull back all the way to about 50K, and that, that would be normal for Bitcoin. And having such a pullback, A, shakes out some weak hands, but also provides a great buying opportunity for anyone who is still in this market. I think it's 
even today was a great day to DCA your spot bags. I didn't do a ton of DCAing, but I did DCA a little bit. And on top of that, not only had, did Bitcoin have some selling off, if we look at the stock market, which Bitcoin is a risk on asset, it normally will follow risk on assets. We saw the Dow Jones fall over 500 points. We saw the overall stock market have a pretty severe red day after making all-time highs earlier last week. So really isn't unexpected. And if you are bullish on Bitcoin, this should be welcomed. This gives you perfect opportunity to DCA into this market. I'm hoping that it douses a little bit of the fire on the Bitcoin and the crypto market right now. I'm, if you've been using ETH at all or been trying to farm airdrops, gas fees have been through the roof. I had one bridge from ETH to one of the L. They tried to charge me $300 in fees for bridging $300. It was absolutely absurd. Hopefully, this will dow some of the front running that we're seeing in this market. Considering what we've had so far, everyone's been talking about, are we front run? Is this market being front run? And in some respects, yes, but maybe this correction is just coming a little bit later. Some of the excitement around the ETFs and Bitcoin Atlantis are all fading now, and we can get some normal price action. What do I think is next? I've talked a little bit about kind of Bitcoin price action. I think that Bitcoin could very easily, you know, pull back to 50K. We could consolidate here for a little while and then fall down. That would not be un unheard of heading into the halving. I'm going to be watching. I'm not shorting the market, but I'm not long either. I'm holding my spot bags and, and watching for what's next. But what else do I think could happen? Do we do I think we're going to have a shorter market? Do I think we will potentially see this whole market collapse? Do or does Bitcoin hit a much higher all-time high than most are talking about? I think this market could be shorter, but at the same time I think this market could end up looking similar. They don't always rhyme, but there's a pattern. And I still think that we end up seeing October, maybe September highs for Bitcoin in 2025. And although I do think the market's being front run a little bit, I think Bitcoin was really being pumped by a lot of the ETF. I don't see the same in alts. Some alts have run. Look at some of the meme coins, Dog With Hat and... Pepe have done, and Bonk have all done incredible, but I wouldn't say that we're necessarily in a spot that the market's totally being front run. run. I think meme coins have just become part of crypto culture, and rather than being a sign of the end of the market, they are just something that will be synonymous with this part of crypto. In terms of other alts, I think ETH still has a bunch of room to run. Uniswap did have a, some had some pretty good days, but there's still a lot of room for it to run there. AVAX has a lot of room. There's tons of strong cryptos and small caps that have a plenty of room to grow and build and become 10, 20, 100x. Really strong opportunities remaining in this market. What does that mean for the next six to 12 months. I think Bitcoin could hit 257,000. If we look at previous cycles, based on TA, there are two numbers that Bitcoin could hit. 137K, which would be roughly where Bitcoin would hit based off of diminished returns. And then the other number, if we remove diminishing returns, the expectation is somewhere around $257,000 for Bitcoin in 2025. Now, I know a lot of people are talking about the 120 to 140 range. I think the ETFs could potentially lead to a non-diminished returns this cycle, and maybe we talk about $257,000, potentially less, but that's where I'm looking at right now. For the channel, I'm just going to continue creating content. 
that I hope you guys enjoy, that I think excites me about the crypto market. Looking at it right now, there's just the quality of the airdrop opportunities out there are not very high. I would suggest you continue farming scroll, layer zero, ZK sync. I will put out a guide for ZK sync. There is a written guide in my discord community. So go check that out. I'm also exploring mode and blast. So get ready for airdrop guides coming from those. I'm also doing the linea park. There's not really a need for a guide for that, but go check out the linea park quests. It is definitely worth farming those. They are relatively easy. For the most part, they are taking me 15 to 20 minutes a week to complete. Definitely worth it to earn some extra linea points. Looking at the content that I'll be making in the future, I will probably be focusing a lot on how I'm using crypto to achieve financial freedom, whether that's looking at my crypto portfolio, how I'm investing, different investment strategies. I know I promised you guys an investment and my portfolio video. I will be dropping that probably this Friday. And I'm also going to be talking potentially about tokens that are piquing my interest or different strategies that I'm taking or exploring for this whole cycle. In addition, if you as a viewer have any ideas or any type of content that you would like me to put out, whether it's a guide on specific airdrop or maybe talking about a specific DAP or my thoughts on a different strategies, please let me know. Let me know what you want to see in the comments. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to just keep putting out as much content as I can for you. Let me know what you like, what you just don't like, what you want more of. And I'm going to be happy to just share my journey with you. I hope you enjoy and join me for the ride. I think the 2024 2025 bull run is going to be phenomenal i think there is massive wealth making opportunities still available in this market check it out stay stay tuned in and thank you for watching i will talk to you all next time and have a great wednesday